here we are at part four. And uh, technically, I should be able to watch this in 15 minutes, which is what I've been trying to keep these uh, videos at. But with the rate that I've been having to pause it, um, I might just have to split this up into two. We'll, we'll see. All right. With that noted, since I am going to have to pause it so much, I'm going to go ahead and just dive right into this. We're at Lee Felix. Uh, Korean name Lee Youngbok, stage name Felix, date of birth the 15th of September. Was it on the 14th? Yeah, 2000. Excuse me while I pour myself some more oolong. Ooh, that's just about empty. Uh, born Sydney, Australia. Uh, so he was born in Australia, unlike Chan, who was born in Korea and moved. Uh, group roles lead dancer, sub rapper, sub vocalist, sunshine. Sunshine! A part of Dan Taracha. Felix was born in Australia, meaning he is 100% fluid in English, and he knew very little Korean aside from the basics when he moved to Seoul to become Seoul. I don't know how to technically uh, pronounce that. I'll have to get better. Uh, when he moved to Seoul to become a trainee. However, after a lot of, de of determination, practice, and help from the other members, Felix is now pretty much fluent in Korean. Awesome. Getting thrown directly into living in the culture, well, <laughs> we'll do that to you. <laughs> Nope, it didn't change. Well, trying to watch the dance in there. It did change, actually. It did change. Uh, Felix is mainly known to be the Australian one with the deep voice, which is true. Yeah, he has some killer parts in the uh, in the lyrics, which is true. Yes, he does have an incredibly surprising deep voice, uh, but he also, it also is much more than that. However, before we delve deeper into learning more about our wonderful sunshine, here are some prime examples of just how deep and amazing his voice really is. Right. Yeah, I think that's one of the deeper ones he goes into, Victory Song. Hey. And it's so crazy because you don't expect that. <laughs> you really don't. Double knot. Yeah, like my husband has a deep voice, but he's like 230 pounds and very dark and rugged. <laughs> uh, Lee Felix. Although Felix doesn't sing that often with Skiz songs, he really does have a lovely singing voice. He mainly sings covers during his... Uh, Heh. He mainly sings covers during his uh, solo V live streams, so he also has V live streams vlog um, as a treat for fans, uh, but also claims he's super shy while doing so. Luckily, us and other members always hype him up and praise him for giving it a, a go despite his nerves. Good job. Keep hyping him up, guys. Is he wearing a strawberry hat? Ooh. There's a light that you give me. When I'm in shadow, there's a feeling you give me when I'm so close. Good on him for going live hey. with that, even though he's not uh, comfortable with it. Oh, really? It's really a small text. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, for the speaking the English, I'm good. <laughs> it was good? It was good? Yeah. What are you watching? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that laugh. That laugh. <laughs> Chan, encourager. <laughs> Despite being known as a rapper within the group, Felix is also one of the main dancers with Skiz. He is a part of the Dance Racha unit. Stay tuned for more info. And also hosted a K-pop dance show called Pops in Seoul. Oh, that's cool. Uh, feel free to check that out, where he taught popular K-pop dances in English. Eh. Let's see, we have Jason doing a spot-on imita imitation of Felix's dance how-to. Let's see, snappy pops. Like the arms? I came like this. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, he did a voice and everything. Like this. <laughs> and both and final. And big dance. And hey. He's actually pretty good at imitating his voice. <laughs> Finding skiz. 
series two up so far. I take it that's uh, something else I'm going to have to dive into. Series. <laughs> Chapin? What the f*** was that look? Wow. Do I know this one? Intense presence when he dances. Oh, with the belly rolls. Okay. Uh, despite being a deep voiced rapper who slays the stage with his performance, Felix is actually a soft cutie who is known to be incredibly affectionate and cuddly with the members. Aww. Uh, there is a reason his nickname is Sunshine. <laughs> he rubbed his head against my stomach. <laughs> He's adorable, he's cute, he's lovable, he's heartwarming, and he's just, you know, my little brother who just really likes to have fun and really like to get close with his other brothers, aka stray kids. Very cool. Lix is too cute. Even earlier, I took the elevator down with Lix. I call him Lix, huh? He g gives me a back hug because he rubs his face on me like this. <laughs> it wasn't yesterday. After I shower, I have to dry my underwear. I dry my hair shirtless because the shirt might get wet. Oh, giving me a back hug, giving me a kiss. <laughs> Very affectionate. <laughs> How should I say this? He's a somewhat more like a Donson than I, and Lix is really cute these days. <laughs> oh, Felix is also known as Brownie Boy thanks to his recent hobby of cooking and baking, especially making sweet treats such as cakes and brownies for both the members, staff, and also other idols when they are at music shows. That's that's cool. That's a that shows that you're extremely thoughtful. You know, if if uh, you just kind of wanted to do something for somebody and you know to kind of just do something for them, a lot of people just go buy them some cookies. You know, buy them a cake or something. He, the thought that he wants to provide something homemade for people, you know, that that takes it up uh, that takes it up a level and really lets you know what kind of uh, character he has under there. Right? So that's. Yeah, it makes me like him a little bit more. The fact that he doesn't just, uh, you know, go buy some cookies, but he actually makes them. That's, that's cool. Brownie, 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 brownie. Spreading. Ooh, ooh, good. Give me one. Give me one. <laughs> brownie boy. <laughs> brownie boy. Are you going to eat again? <laughs> The brownie fairy. Uh, Felix has an abundance of gorgeous natural freckles all over his face. They used to be hidden in the early stages of skiz, covered by makeup, etc., but now he embraces them, and they are all part of his beauty and charm. Oh, oh holy cow, and that, uh, that second one, you can really see him distinctly. That's cool, because I know in Korea, having like the extremely... Um, almost like porcelain uh, features, you know, really smooth, really, really pale is uh, considered attractive. So the fact that he likes, he, he's allowed to and likes showing those freckles is really cool. I actually have really light freckles. Not, not, not as uh, clear as Felix's. Felix's freckles are so beautiful. Like, it's actually, Felix's freckles, they're the best. Chan, the best, like, Chan approved they, freckles. Uh, nice and <laughs> very, it's one of these these charms actually. Yeah. I love Felix, Felix's freckles. I can't even say it properly. I really like Felix's <laughs> freckles. There we go. That is tie twister. Freckles. Tie twister, tongue, tongue twister. twister. I really like Felix's freckles. The egg mystery. This isn't really a fact, however. I'll learn for some fun facts. Uh, once you join the fandom, you will soon learn about Felix and his egg. It started off as a random moment during Chan's room that quickly developed into a running joke within the fandom and the boys, with Felix using the egg emoji randomly on social media, even prompting Stace to come up with a theory for it. I don't know what theory is. 
Okay. Here's the clip where oh, where it all began. Okay. <laughs> all right. Come in. What is which? Where where'd you get your egg from? An <laughs> egg. Someone gave it to me. So oh, an egg. Wait. Is it um the? I don't know. Whoa! Whoa. I've never been given an egg I by a friend. The show. No. By it's anyone, like, not just a friend. It's not a real egg. It's not a real egg. It's not a real egg. I swear to you. Yeah. My friend didn't give me an egg. Yeah. Yeah. My friend. <laughs> My friend wouldn't give me a raw egg. Yeah, I mean. Okay. <laughs> In conclusion, uh, Felix is a soft, adorable baby who slays the stage, yet is just so full of pure love. He loves skiz and stay more than anything in the world and is never, ever ashamed to admit that. Yeah, usually the cuddly, cuddly types like that are not ashamed to express verbally as well. Uh, I don't even know if I can learn this. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Uh, I can't. I can't express it in words. But I wish I could express it with hugs and uh, kisses. And stuff. I, I hope grade six does. Uh, <laughs> in a way, heal everyone in this current situation. And I hope everyone stays strong. Nice. Very cool. Huh. How are we doing on time? Oh, Eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. You know what? I might, because we should only have two more after this, but I only did, okay, I'm going to do one more. Kim Sungman. So I can never really get my mouth to work with his name. Sungman. Uh, stage name, Sungman. Uh, date of birth, the 22nd of September. That's three in September. Uh, 2000. Born, Seoul, South Korea. Group roles, lead vocalist, sub-rapper, dancer. Sungmin is one of Stray Kids' lead main vocalists within the group, and when I say this man can sing, this man can freaking sing. His vocal range is super impressive, from low tones to ridiculously flawless high notes. Yeah, he does have a really big range. Um, one of my favorite songs from him is a Slump, just because of, oh my god, the falsettos they do in there. And Sungmin's is like the highest and clearest, just incredible. Uh, just like Ji Sung, uh, Sungman takes most of the highest vocals during their songs. Part of vocal rock show. The crop top and never ending. Uh, sadly, Sungman is often overlooked and underappreciated despite his insane vocal abilities. However, over the last few Skiz comebacks, he has really shined throughout their songs, and it's become more and more apparent that new fans are noticing his vocals, especially when he sings live. So here, let me educate you. Get cool. Yeah. Singing confidently in English. Let's <laughs> appreciate Jason playing the guitar. It's my lifetime, so I'm using chords. Now for actual MVs, this is go all in. Mission to stay, is that? I don't think I know that one. Finding out that there's more stuff from Stray Kids that I didn't uh, realize was even out. I'm not sure that I've heard this one. I'm making a list of their discography and I'm just gonna react to everything. Everything. 
Sundman is actually really good at English. Just explains why he was singing confidently in it. Uh, much more than people realize, he is super confident with his speaking abilities and often takes the lead when Chan and Felix are absent. Word joke. It's a little joke in Korea, but it has al it also has a meaning that we're looking for this past year. Our team name is Stray Kids. When you take out the R of Stray Kids, that's the reason of the Stray Kids. Yeah, we yeah, I mean, he's... put that out, and we made the word stay to our official fan name. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I mean he's he's speaking like somebody who is uh, fluent in it. You know, I've I've uh, learned languages in the past, and I know from experience that when you're not fluent in a language, you're you kind of have little pauses in your sentences when you're kind of just taking just at least even a half a second to conjugate a verb or you know come up with oh, what was that word again? What was that vocabulary? And so, yeah, he he speaks like he's fluent. At first glance, Sigmund probably seems like the most calm and collected member of Skiz. However, after getting to know him, he is actually just as wacky and crazy as the rest of them. Now for some fun facts. Sigmund's nickname is Puppy. That is because of his overall likeness to a Labrador. <laughs> okay. His happy, excitable personality and his big, wide smile. <laughs> he does have a big smile. <laughs> yeah, it's a good smile. I like that. Ah! <laughs> I do that to call my dogs too. <laughs> like a horse. Can you hear Paw? Gives his foot. <laughs> He's a huge fan of Group Day 6, also under JYP, and has recently been appearing on the radio show uh, Dakira alongside fellow Skiz member Lee No. Uh, the host of the show is Young K, guitarist and vocalist of Day 6. It's so cute to see them interact. Yeah, I can imagine if he's a big fan and he gets to interact with uh, somebody he really emulates, possibly. Sigmund is intimidating Chang'e's alias. His wide eyes. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> we know the three piece suit looking nice, dapper. Uh, Sungman has also covered a few of Day Six songs on Skiz official YouTube channel. Please, uh, please check them out. He has really done them. He's really done them proud. Let me know if you'd like me to react to covers of theirs as well. I don't know. I plan on doing this for a while, so I might just have the time to do it. We'll see. In conclusion, Sigmund is another incredibly talented member of Skiz who's not only funny and savage, but also adorable, soft, yet mature when he needs to be. Please appreciate him lots. Appreciated. And looking at the time, I'm at 19 minutes, but I know there's only one member left. Um, there he is. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna press through because I don't want to have just one member. I don't imagine they're gonna do like a parting salvo of information. So. Young, I'm bad with his name as well, like Sungman. Uh, Yang, Yang Yungin, I think that's it. Uh, stage name, I-N, date of birth, 8th of February, 2001. Is that Valentine's? When's Valentine's Day? Uh, born, Busan, South, Car South Korea, maknae of the group. Youngest member, that means. A uh, group roles, vocalist, sub-rapper, <laughs> maknae on top. The song, I know the song. <laughs> Aw, I some hugs from Chan. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, Youngin is a vocalist within Skiz and has a lovely sounding voice. He's part of the vocal line alongside alongside Sungmin, however. Uh, just like his older brother, he also gets overlooked and as a talented vocalist. Uh, but as Skiz gained popularity and IN grew older, recognition towards him and his skills have really increased, which is also which is so wonderful to see. There's Doc. Say hi, Doc. Yeah, <laughs> keep moving, buddy. Um, yeah, he's 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 very good as well, and he's be I can he's one of the members that I can really see through the songs that he's uh, his. His vocals are really improving, so it'll be interesting to see how much he continues to mature. Bam. Versus about singing. I wonder if I made this. Yeah. Easy. Uh, this is one of his solo skiz records that are uploaded to their YouTube account. Please take a moment to appreciate his beautiful vocals. If it is you, haven't heard this one. That's, yeah, I haven't really been able to hear him do, uh, like, his his vocal range. It sounds like it's way more suited to those kind of slower songs. You're, I don't know if we're ever really going to hear that kind of song from uh, Stray Kids in general. So it's awesome that he's able to put out solos like that because that was a really powerful vocals. It's just not the kind of vocals. I mean, we'll have to see the kind of stuff that uh, Stray Kids continues to come out with because they're really diverse. But that's... I hope that he's able to showcase that voice because I don't think I've heard that kind of singing from him in Stray Kids' song. Uh, let me know in the you know in the comments if he has if there's songs in Stray Kids where he's able to showcase it. Like I know that he has some good singing parts, but like not like that what we just heard right there. Okay. After recently growing out of his adolescence and becoming a young adult, Ian released his well-awaited solo track, Makne on Top, which he worked with, on with both Bang Chan and Chang Bin, and who both feature on the track. Ian and Chang Bin are so featured on it. it. We work together. But Ian pretty much did everything. Really? Oh! Ian pretty much did everything. You can say that I am pretty much made the whole thing. That's that's cool. So so he's also getting into it. Does not make it sound like he's also getting into the production side of things and all the lyrics. So that's and it's also hilarious that he wrote the uh, <laughs> that he wrote the, this a song about him being. I'm a pre-chorus guy. Oh, I am trained for two years before debuting with Skiz. However, he did face a tough time during the survival show, but uh, the harsh harsh criticism he received only pushed him to improve and better himself as a singer and dancer. Quick math. He was born in 2001, which means he was 16 in 2017, which means he was 15 when he started training. Okay. Let's see. Youngjin, you sing two lines in pre-chorus yeah. part, right? Ah, Doc! Doc. Uh, yes. Oh, you sing those two lines in the overall stage, suddenly you feel like an amateur. Aww. Harsh. I'm shocked, but rather feeling sorry for myself, I'm more sorry for his team. Eh. His aspect changes so much between, because you're so you see him smile, but I've seen that face drop too, and it's his normal face, he just goes, <laughs> His self-improvement is so clear now. Not only with, yeah, like I said, in the beginning, like his, from the beginning tracks to, like, what he's doing now, you can tell that he's developed in that time, which makes sense because he's so, so young. I mean, he was, you know, 16 when he first got going. His voice is literally still changing then, one would think. I don't know if Felix's voice has changed in, like, 5, 15 years, but... <laughs> you imagine his voice was still changing when he was 16, still deepening. 
Uh, his uh, self-improvement is, is so clear now, not only with his vocal and dance skills, but also with his stage presence and overall confidence as a performer. It's wonderful to see. What in the universe? Have I... I don't know if I've heard this. The others that really love and cherish, <coughs> cherish Youngjin as their youngest, with each member showing him love, support, and guidance in their own unique ways. It's so adorable. Look at him. <laughs> Aww. Oh, God. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Oh, reminds me of, of me and my friends in college. <laughs> oh, but don't let his cuteness fool you. Ian has amazing stage presence and equally has amazing duality. Yeah, the, the duality is the, the phase that just changes. He can easily switch it up at any time, going from cute to hot <laughs> at the blink of an eye. It's gonna be really interesting to see him grow up further. Like I know he's, I know he's of age. I know he's a he's a man, not a boy. But you know he's still got a, a lot of growing up to do. <laughs> Some fun facts. Youngin is a huge fan of trot music, a traditional and distinct form of Korean singing. He even featured on a TV reality show to sing in this style, surprising the judges because of how young he was. Okay. Ooh, I like that. good i can i can see him being really good at that style because of that one clip of the solo uh track that we heard that's that, that's kind of how his voice you know being able to have that note and kind of modulate it and hold it like he's it sounds like his he's he's really good at holding that that i, ho I hope we get to see more of that he is often referred to as a fox more specifically a fennec fox and he uses the fox emoji on social media. His kazoo character is a cute white fennec fox. <laughs> oh, eh. Ian used to have braces since debut up until January of 2019. When he had them removed, he celebrated the occasion with a live stream event to show off his lovely straight teeth. I had braces too. Straight teeth. <laughs> and that, that had to be kind of weird too. Finally, it's that had to be a little weird too because I know that from having braces that you know when I first got them on your lips don't fit <laughs> your, your lips just don't fit and you speak funny for a while and so I, does uh, does Sungman have I, I there's some videos I've seen of him where it looks like he has like really light colored braces on his teeth i don't know leave in the comments if but I, it, I seem to have seen like stuff on his teeth as well but yeah getting your braces off man and actually feeling the smoothness on your teeth and instead of just that rough metal oh it feels so good in conclusion despite being the adorable maknae young again it it's a tongue twister for me i don't know why Youngin is an easily, equally talented member of the group and deserves all the praise in the world. Uh, what on earth do you have on your face, boy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really 
really hope you enjoy getting to know all all about the boys of Stray Kids. I can promise you that there is so, so much more to learn about them, and I really hope you consider giving them a chance. You will not regret it. Very nice. Dang, but... <laughs> oh, some of these, they have a ton of dance practices. I'll have to check some of them out. And to my fellow stays, I really hope my guide has done the boys justice. There is so much content and moments I wanted to include, but let's hope any new fans decide to discover it for themselves. I did discover it, thank you. It's, yeah, let's check out some of their dance videos. Well, this has been, I'm really going to have to check out some of their dance videos. <laughs> Oh, man. This has been a trek. Oh, we're at 30 minutes. I'm just going to sign off. Drink something tasty, even if it's just water. And uh, have a wonderful day. Part 17.